Hello, my friend. My name is Jacob Wharton. I live at 325 3rd Street, Southeast, Medicine Alberta, Canada. I want all of you to know that that man is a walking legend. If you want to send me money, go ahead. My postal code is T1A0G6. If I need 50 bucks, please just send it to me. Right now. I need money right now. So don't fuck the whore next door. And I'll put her on the floor and I'll pin her down, call her comrade because that's how she likes it. And it'll be the best love she ever had. Please do it. She's beautiful. I want you right now. What you have to know about me is that I'll play you like a fool. I'm a psychopath. I could kill her right now. I wouldn't care. I don't care about anything. I have rules. I don't care the decision I've made. I don't care what consequences. I don't even have any regrets. So it's a funny way to live. Not caring what people think. If you think I have no dick, I have a huge dick. Eight inches wide. <laughs> Just kidding. I look like a little boy, but I'm not a toy. And don't call me fun boy. I have so much fun that I'm fun master. I'm certified ladies, ma'am. I have a huge dick, and everybody's proud of me. One of these days, I'm going to post my dick. Let's say February 14th at 4 p.m. I'll post a picture for blowing me. Make sure you're ready to get it before that video is banned. The first person that sees the dick and watches you and doesn't report me and makes a comment wins $1 million. I don't have any money now, but by February 14th, I will have $1 million for the first person that watched my porno. I become a porn star. I will win everything, win every award, every academy. I will run the world because my name is Jacob and my IQ is 223. <laughs> Isn't that fucking funny? I can literally show it to you. Check out my TikTok. I don't know the name. But I'll tell you later on what the name is. Just to figure it out. Be like, oh yeah, Jacob, I keep doing my thing. He's a literal genius. He pays attention to detail. He's perspicacious. He always guesses how much his groceries cost, which means he's somehow tracked what everything costs. Interesting. What else did he track? Imagine remember every fucking detail in your relationship. I got to point Blake. I was like, I realized that Blake was a fucking retard. I'm like, you did everything wrong all the time. Every decision you made was so selfish, and I had enough. Blake, you're grounded. You come to my house and try to me, try to be tough at all. You're gonna fucking kill you. You know what I mean? You're a punk. Don't ever start near the baseball bat again. Don't ever steal from my friends again. Don't beat up anybody innocent or I'll come after you. I'm on the prowl. I'm the big bad wolf. I'm Mike Myers. I'm the bad guy. I'm on the prowl, man. I'm bigger, faster, stronger. You better look out, man. Because I know what you do and I know where you live. Everybody in this world is in extreme danger, and I know it. Everywhere you go is extreme danger. There's danger coming up the stairs. I'll be out the door immediately telling people, what the fuck are you doing here? Get out of my house. Everybody knows I'm dead, and that's fine. If I die, please give me respect. Poor Jacob was the most amazing guy on the planet. He felt unwelcome. He felt undesired. He was bullied. They told him, you're a psycho, you're a fag, and he wasn't gay, and he's not even a bad guy, he's a good guy. So why do you call me psychopath? Because he's Asperger's, right? He doesn't care. He told you he's not dead, and he told you he's going to live forever. I have true serum you, so can I be honest with you? Everything in this world makes zero sense at all. Nothing makes any sense. If I'm so dumb, then why am I telling you what to believe in? If you think I'm a moron, why are you still listening to this 3 minutes and 33 seconds? And if I'm such a retard, how come you call me retard? And it says retardation on the screen at the doctor's office. And I'm literally a retard. You're not allowed to call me retard. When I call you guys retard, you're not allowed to complain because I'm a retard. And when someone complains how oh, you're better at checkers and they beat you, you say something like, Oh, buddy, you beat a retard. Congratulations, you fucking idiot with your high IQ. It's easy to be a retard because I don't know how to play. <laughs> Never played before. Anyway, everything, do everything your heart desires. I want you to play with your cock ten times a day. Find the best porn ever. Live life the fullest. You know, suck your own dick one time. And no, I did. <laughs> not you. Everybody has fun. Life is all about having fun. That's it. It's not about drama. Make your genre. Genre. A drama. It's the, you know, genre of moods. Make it a comedy. Everything's funny. So right now, Jacob's hilarious. If you watch this, you will laugh your ass off. So everything Jacob does is incredible. You watch closely, he's perspicacious. He does everything the best. He's God. He's literally the man. So God is telling me exactly what to do. And he knows it. Because his awareness is higher. He's spiritually enlightened. He's a different breed of man. Mr. Dick Sucking Little Faggot sucked his own dick. Didn't like him. Thought he was gay and then remembered.
Totally not at all. <laughs> I had a girlfriend. I definitely didn't like sucks. I don't like guys at all. I don't care out of standards. I don't care about feelings because I, I don't feel anything. So if I die, it won't hurt. So I'd rather I die than you because I won't feel anything. Stab you in the chest, it won't hurt. I like you so much. I like you guys. I simply just appreciate you. You be home in my house. I don't have to work. You be home with girlfriend next door, which is a whore. She's probably dead. And I don't really care. Everything's bad. Everything brag and everybody's black. Black and white, black, jackety jack. And you know what? Goof. Goof rap Supreme 69. You'll laugh your ass off because he's so good at rap. He's better than Eminem. Heroic speeches. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? Look up my other channel, Jacob Button, Worth of Wisdom. There's some good stuff there, too. There's some juicy stuff here. This Jacob guy's important. Now I think about it, he's actually pretty special. If you didn't Google at 14, it's like the new button. Because he didn't really get in the government test. When they test with his horrible grades, somehow passes the fucking way. Like, why? He didn't pass the test? It's impossible. I pass every test. Everyone who's ever tested me, I pass every single one of them. I could be dating porn stars. But I don't, because I don't care. Whatever's convenient. Conveniently located is what I said before. The girl next door. So I always lower my standards for convenience. Go fuck the seven of us next door. Why not, eh? She lives right there. She's cheap. 80 bucks I'd have her right now. She'll let me do whatever I want. She can entertain me. If anything, she'll bring her girlfriend with me. Because she's bisexual. I don't even like her. She can watch. And they can fuck, and I'll watch her. Or jerk off on both of them. The point is, everything in life happens for a reason. If I'm telling you life can be incredible, life is amazing, and I know something that could do it. Wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you want exactly what I have? Glorious financial freedom, dignity, self-respect, and integrity? Of course you do. So why are you living a pointless, useless life? You have standards, but why are they low? You know, you say you care about your life, but then you do absolutely everything that shows you don't care about your life. So you have a t-shirt that you paid $50 for because you care about t-shirts. How come you don't care about your health? Why do you smoke cigarettes? Why do you don't eat meat? What are you doing with your life, man? You care so much about the world. You care about the environment. Recycle. Don't use cars. Literally walk everywhere. This world makes no fucking sense. I think you're all fucking retards. I really do. And I'm retarded. That's the funny part. They said retardation in my comedy spit. It's said retard right on the screen at my doctor's office. Okay. So I'm the retard because I pay attention to absolutely every detail even possible. That's interesting. So now I know everything about you. I know your weaknesses. I know everything that could ever happen. And I think we should kill me. Do it. Because I'm dangerous. I'm on the loose, I'm on the prowl, I'm the big bad wolf, and you're all dead if you turn me down. If I fuck you, you will be alive. You'll have the rarest baby in the world. Please don't let me fuck you, because you guys could kill, I slit your throat. I could. If you're a dead whore, you won't have my baby, and I won't let it happen. Put it this way, if every guy in the world was anything like me, this world would be different. Okay? So wake up this morning, or yesterday morning, or even tomorrow morning, and decide everything I do is perspicacious, pay attention to every detail, and do everything for the greater good of mankind. Help people decide right now you're going to live the greatest life even possible, because you love life. Everything in your life is freedom, glory, magic, and you just decide that you believe that. Believe in yourself. Believe in your man. That's what I did. I was grown, retarded, psychopath, with disadvantages. I was dismembered, moralized, humanized. She was like an asshole, beat up girls in high school. And then guy in black coat fucking kicked my ass for beating up a girl. I was really just saying hello. I was really just saying hi to the other girl. Because I had no idea what he was. He was just a girl. Oh, it was just a hoe. It doesn't matter. Anyways, everything in life happens for a reason. And if you look at everything that happens, there's reasons for it. Your psycho killers on the loose. I will be waiting for you, and you will die. Anyways, the best part of all of this is that I'm doing these videos for free. No commercials. No worries, hassle free. So watch my video, like it, subscribe, watch the rap, and life's incredible. Please understand, everything in your life happens for a reason. I believe Allison Parker, the porn star, is secretly in love with some guy in Canada. Or whatever. Or that's just a Nigerian scamming me. Send me fake pictures. I don't know. Love letters on daily basis. And other women want to send me money. And other women want to fuck me. It's impossible to set my standard. I am impossible to live. I want to die. I will die in the cold. I will die right now. I will die saving a tree. I will die saving a cat. I don't care. So to kill me would be fucking stupid because I don't care if I die. And all I do is good for the world. To lock me up for helping is stupid. Put me in jail is stupid. Why is
was in jail? Yes, because you're stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what you need to do is realize that you have to decide right now. You have to have a realization that you're going to live life the fullest. You're not going to care about people's feelings. Have the confidence to have the fucking confidence to have a low self-esteem, high value man. Work hard to make your self-esteem higher. Be the worst and then build yourself up to be the best. If your girlfriend dumps you and you're doing horrible, go to the fucking gym. Work out so much that you're high up in the value of yourself. This world doesn't owe you anything. So don't think you deserve a t-shirt. Don't think a towel is even necessary. Be brutal. Be savage. Work your ass off. Thank you. Goodbye. And New York City is going to get bombed and I'm going to save them.